take privilege and make an announcement uh, from the mission team. I see that the canned goods are stacking up. What I don't see is a lot of peanut butter and jelly, and especially powdered milk. Remember, that was our emphasis. After next Sunday, I'm going to call Lighthouse and either deliver or have that uh, food picked up. So you have one more Sunday to get those peanut butter, jelly, mac and cheese. We have lots of mac and cheese uh, and dried milk in. So please do that. And I also want to remind everyone that Friday at uh, 9.15, we're uh, having the book club meeting at Lottie's house. So please join us for that. And I see that Diana is in the wings wanting to make an announcement. Uh, good morning, all. I just want to make another quick announcement about our upcoming Bethany Cafe. If you have not already signed up to bring something, please see me after church to sign up. Some things that we need are um, prepared cakes, um, prepared candied yams, and soup. Um, some things that you can lend us are if you have a game of Candyland, uh, please put your name on the bottom and lend it to us or um, simple, clear glass jars that we can use for decoration or vases. Also, to sign up um, to come to the cafe and bring your family for a wonderful four-course meal on uh, March the 8th, please email me or call me at the uh, number listed in the bulletin. Thank you. Of you have an awareness of uh, the two ministries that are strongly supported, Friendship House, uh, the, uh, the Neighborhood Action Project in Hamtramck that helps the poor, as well as Camp Lael that a number of our youth and children and grown-ups and myself go to and be part of. Uh, every year they come together and they have one big fundraiser, and it usually takes place for the last few years down at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in, in uh, Royal Oak. It is taking place on Wednesday, March 19th. The doors open at 7, and the show will start at 8. Uh, the cost for tickets is $25. This, uh, this covers the, uh, the talent of the comic, and then you can you know, enjoy yourself with other folks that are there. Um, John McGregor, 
who is not here today. Uh, he is the contact person for our church. He's the one that has the tickets. Uh, he's the one that can give you more detailed information about the event. Uh, I'm just kind of doing a tease right now, thinking ahead. March 19th is coming. If you're going to be around and not suffering in some warmer climate, uh, I encourage you to buy tickets and support both of these really great ministries that have been part of this state for 100 years, um, a long time, a long time. So please, please uh, consider supporting those and getting tickets and having a good time. Now we've come to the portion of our service where we uh, come together in prayer. Um, some of you may have heard the news already. Um, if not, uh, let me let you know. Um, Jeff Davis passed away early this morning. Uh, he had been, been in hospital all this week, and, you know, as we're all very well aware, for the most part, he has been in and out of the hospital for quite some time. There was a treatment option that would have prolonged his life that he chose not to take. I think he finally got tired, and he... Right now, there are no detailed funeral arrangements made, other than that we know that when it does happen, there will be no viewing. As we know more, we will let you know. So uh, we need to remember the family of Jeff Davis this morning in our I'd prayers. Like to extend a belated congratulations to Joyce Heiss on her 80th birthday. She celebrated last Sunday, and uh, then she had a big celebration at Frank Booth with her family, relatives, and friends. Oh, yeah. Take some time and uh, talk to our God this morning. Would you all pray with me, please? All-knowing God, all-powerful God, all-caring God, all-giving God, we stop in our hour of worship to talk to you. To talk to you and share the things from our hearts and our minds and our souls, the things that we struggle with, the burdens we carry through the week, but also celebrating the way that you've brought us through. Helped us to be graceful to someone who may not have deserved it in our opinion. Helped us to laugh in a moment when we could have been angry. Helped us, oh God, to celebrate the big and small ways in which you have reminded us of your love and how we were able to share that love with others, either directly in a conversation or simply through our actions. Loving God, we thank you that you were there. But we also confess, O oh God, that there are a lot of minutes in a week a lot of time goes by from a Sunday to a Sunday, and we don't always stop and acknowledge you when something spectacular has happened because you are the one that made it possible. We either take credit that we made it happen or we simply say, wow, the fates must be smiling upon us. But in all of those times and places, it's really you, God, acting and intervening on our behalf, protecting us, guiding us, uplifting us, loving us, giving us what we need. But instead, we choose to get angry because you don't give us what we want. Forgive us in our moments of arrogance. Forgive us in our moments when we think that we know better than you do. Forgive us in our ignorance of believing that the way of the world will give us true happiness when true joy only comes from being with you. Forgive us when we do wrong. And forgiveness is what you give. When we ask you, wipe the slate clean, you say it's a do-over. My child, I still love you. Let me embrace you and let us continue to walk together. And our eyes are open and we understand. We're able to testify to this and celebrate this and celebrating that Joyce Heiss has been with us for 80 years. Serving, loving, caring, Loving God, all because of you. 
And we also know this because you have called your son Jeff Davis home. The health issues that racked his body, the emotional strain that it put on him and his family and his loved ones and friends. Loving God, that is now at an end. And while we sit there and say the passing of a person may be tragic, it may be possible, O oh God, that with all the burdens that he carried, it's truly a blessing that has come to pass. But there is now a hole in our lives that was once filled by Jeff, and there is nothing of this world that can fill it, but you, O oh God, can help us as we grieve and to heal and to take comfort that he is now with you. In the completeness of the creation of who he is supposed to be, able to worship and sing your praises and celebrate and be with those that have gone before him. Give those who are hurting this day the comfort and peace and knowing that your son Jeff is a true peace. For it seems that true peace is something that we strive for in the busyness and doldrums of our lives. We get caught into these routines and we forget that you are there, but your son is always reminding us. Your spirit is always enlivening us. And that is possible because you, O oh God, gave him to us so that we could be one with you. On that cross, he willingly gave his life, and that makes it possible for us to come and not only just worship and say words to you, but feel you interact with us in this hour. Thank you for being a God that loves us that much, that you watch over us, you care for us, you call us, and you made it possible for us to be one with you. Continue to fill us and guide us in this hour as we Continue to worship and celebrate in your name. Amen.